Imagine this, the very drink many people with irregular heartbeats have been told to fear might actually help protect their hearts. A brand new randomized clinical trial just found that drinking one cup of caffeinated coffee per day was linked with fewer recurrences of atrial fibrillation, the most common heart rhythm disorder in the United States. If that sounds upside down, stay with me because the numbers are strong and the message is simple. For many older adults with treated atrial fibrillation, a daily cup may be not only safe, but beneficial. Atrial fibrillation affects more than 10 million people in the United States and raises the risk of stroke, heart failure, and hospitalizations. For decades, conventional wisdom warned that caffeine could trigger palpitations. That advice is now being seriously challenged. Researchers ran the DECAF trial, short for Does Eliminating Coffee Avoid Fibrillation, and presented it at the American Heart Association's scientific sessions with full results published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Here is what the study actually did. 200 adults in Australia, Canada, and the United States, average age 69, all with persistent atrial fibrillation that had been treated with electrical cardioversion, were randomly assigned for six months to one of two paths, either drink at least one cup of caffeinated coffee daily or abstain from coffee and all other caffeine. Recurrences of atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter were tracked using electrocardiograms, wearables, and implanted cardiac devices. The results were eye-opening. 47% of the coffee group had a recurrence compared with 64% in the abstinence group. That translates to a 39% lower hazard of recurrence for the coffee drunkers. Hazard ratio 0.61, P equals 0.01. Adverse events were similar between groups, and there was no excess in strokes or heart failure events tied to coffee. In other words, in this real-world population of older adults who had just restored normal rhythm, a simple daily cup was associated with fewer irregular heartbeat comebacks. What does that mean for you or a loved one living with atrial fibrillation? First, confidence. If you already enjoy a morning coffee, this trial supports that one daily cup is safe for many patients after cardioversion and may help reduce recurrence. Second, moderation matters. The trial encouraged a typical cup, not jumbo doses. It does not justify slamming multiple energy drinks or stacking high-dose caffeine supplements. In fact, the authors specifically warn against extrapolating any benefit to high-caffeine products like energy drinks. Why might coffee help? Coffee is a complex brew of biologically active compounds. One plausible mechanism involves caffeine's blockade of adenosine receptors. Adenosine can make the atria more irritable and prone to fibrillation. By blocking those receptors, caffeine may have an antiarrhythmic effect. Anti-inflammatory compounds in coffee may also play a role. These are mechanistic clues, not proof, but they make the protective signal biologically plausible. Important boundaries so you use this science wisely. The trial enrolled people after their rhythm had been corrected. It did not include those in the middle of an uncontrolled atrial fibrillation episode. Findings may not apply to everyone with active, unmanaged symptoms. Adherence was imperfect in the no-coffee group, which likely makes the observed benefit conservative. And as always, individuals vary. If coffee clearly triggers your symptoms, that personal data matters more than any average. A quick practical blueprint you can act on now, always with your cardiologist's guidance. If you are a coffee drinker with treated atrial fibrillation, a single morning cup of caffeinated coffee appears reasonable. Keep it simple, brewed or espresso, ideally unsweetened and without heavy creamers. Avoid stacking other stimulants and avoid energy drinks altogether. Track how you feel for two weeks, note palpitations, sleep, and blood pressure, and share that log at your next visit. If you do not drink coffee and are curious, discuss a cautious trial with your physician first. And if you are scheduled for ablation or cardioversion, ask your care team how these findings fit your plan. Bottom line, a carefully measured cup of caffeinated coffee each day looks not only safe, but potentially protective against repeat irregular heartbeats in many older adults after cardioversion. That is powerful, empowering news grounded in randomized evidence, not hype.